Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this super easy washcloth or dishcloth. I actually use them for my toddler. They're 100% cotton and it's a perfect first project. That's how I learned how to crochet is by watching tutorials and just stopping and rewinding it over and over again. So this is good for one of your first um, projects. And I used sugar and cream, cotton, yarn, it's really absorbent, good for wash rags, and the colors batik. So I'm using a size K crochet hook, and then you'll need a needle and scissors. Alright, so we'll get started. First we're going to do our little loop knot. And so all I did was just like I'm making a knot and instead of pulling it all the way through you just keep that little loop on there and that's where our hook goes. Okay and the first thing we do is crochet a chain and so all we do is we take our yarn and pull through the loop. That's our first chain. That's our second chain, third chain, and we're going to chain 19 for this washcloth, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so now we'll start our first stitch and all we're going to do is the single crochet, the most basic stitch. So we can't go in this first one because that's the one my yarn is in. We need to go in the next stitch. So we push our hook through, grab the yarn, pull it through. You have two on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull through two. Go in the next space, grab the yarn, pull through. You have two on your hook, pull through two. Go in the next space, pull through, two on my hook, pull through two. And then we just do that all the way across until we get to the end. And this is what you're going to do for this entire pattern. So I'm going to go to the end and I'll show you how to turn. Um, and then you just continue with the single crochet until it's as big as you like it. And at the very end, you're going to cut and leave about, oh, I don't know, five inches of yarn. And you weave the ends in with that needle I showed you. You do a knot, and then you'll just weave in the ends. My yarn's kind of gotten kind of awkward. Let me move this. There we go. And these yarns with the various colors look cool because it looks more complicated than it actually is when you're all done with it. Okay, so we've come to the end 
and what you always do at the end of the row for a single crochet is you have to chain one and then we have to turn over our work so that we could continue can continue to crochet across so I chained one and I'm going to continue to crochet across so I can't go in this very first stitch because that's where my yarn goes but I'm going to go through the second one and do my single crochet just keep going and then when you come to the end of that row you do the same thing you chain one and turn and you're going to make it as long and as thick well as wide as you want so you just keep going until it's nice and wide and at the end you're going to have a tail on either side that you want to hide now I cut, cut this one really long but I'll just show you how that works to weave it in oh this I'm taking the wrong end but you'll get the idea so you have the tail you're just going to weave it in and out cut it and then you cannot see it at all so that's how that works and oh I forgot one piece at the very end on your last um, your last stitch you want to pull through to make a knot so your very last stitch when you're all done you're going to act just like you are crocheting only you grab the yarn pull through and you're going to pull all the way through so you pull all the way through and that makes a nice knot so that it will all stay together and then you weave in your ends and you're done so enjoy your new washcloth and what's great about this for a first project is they don't have to be straight and you can still use them. Thanks!